Hey, welcome. Thanks so much for your interest and maybe your purchase of uh, Rapid Fire Network Detective. Hey, so in this short video, we're going to cut straight to the chase. Uh, these are the really quick steps for using Network Detective. Step one, we're going to download and run the network data collector on a domain controller on the prospect or client network. Step two, let's generate the reports. Here we go. All right, so this is step one. What we're going to do is go to rapidfiretools.com and download the Network Detective Data Collector. Right click, save as, drop it on the desktop. That'll take just a moment. Great, finishing up. We'll close that. All right, make sure you right click, run as administrator, so it's certain to have elevated credentials. Just choose unzip, let it go ahead and run the program when it's done. And basically you can choose next, 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 um, make any changes you want to. Here we'll have it do the MX and who is. You can do multiple um, domains at the same time. IP address, SNMP will allow it to do the MBSA a weak password. Uh, definitely want to do this. So input the range and that will kick off the vulnerability scan. And start. So that's all there is to it. In you know less than two minutes you can download it and get that started and We'll come back in just a little bit and pick up the results. Okay, so the network data collection has been finished. Click OK. Open the folder. And what we'll do, um, here's the output. We'll copy that to a thumb drive or email it to yourself. And then we're going to, in the next step, uh, import that and generate the reports. Okay, now the fun and easy part. So if you haven't already done so, Go to rapidfiretools.com slash download, download the Rapid Fire application, install it, and run it. Um, once you have it installed, enter your username and of course your password. Once you're logged in, you should have the Network Detective tool available to you. Double click that to run it. Click Add Network Assessment Data File. Browse to the folder where you have it. I've already done here. And then import the NDF or the zip of the NDF that you ran. Uh, note that if you've run a vulnerability scan, if it's complete, it'll have uh, the date and um, a rescan. Otherwise, it'll say check availability. Uh, at this point, put in report prepared for my customer, whatever your customer name is. prepared by. You can uh, choose whatever cover page logo you want to go on the front of the reports. I'll leave it set at that. Go ahead and create your header logo. Import that. You can click Save Default uh, Settings if you like. You can preview the report or go straight to generate the reports. And so um, I think I'll select these. Uh, by the way, the full detail change report does um, let you do a differential report between two different NDFs. Since I've only got the one, it would make no sense to select that. And then click Generate. Say where you want to put it. Save. And uh, this may take a moment or two. And it will complete the reports. Okay, so the reports are done. Um, it'll pop open the zip file that contains the reports. And here we have the client risk, the Excel, the full report, the site diagram. Just open one of these up to make sure it looks like what we expect. And here it is. Risk score, the issue summary, and of course all the other information. So that's it. Um, four minutes tops and uh, we're done. Enjoy.